folks in the house. How's everybody doing? Still going. <laughs> Ride it out until it uh, doesn't play anymore. Uh, doing my movie for Sunday night and uh, was over to folks the uh, last couple days starting to dig out the yard and um, got another broccoli that I was able to take out. There's one left that it's small. I don't know if it's going to I guess the cold weather, we'll see what happens in a week. Um, and then uh, took out gladiolas, stored them for next year. Um, I wanted a mum plant, so put that in. Um, see how that uh, survives winter. Um, I dug out Lily of the Valley. I have said this, if somebody, if you're going to get Lily of the Valley, make sure you're tending to it. Um, if you let that spread, you are in for a workout. I Yesterday, I did two hours of digging that crap out, and <laughs> I got my workout frustrated. I'm kind of curious on how much of it comes back next year. I know it will. I mean, I was just the, uh, I, I don't know what you want to say, the vines or the, I mean, the stuff's worse than a weed. <laughs> it just does it spreads. I mean, if you can control it, um, good luck with it because the stuff just goes deep and over. I mean, um, where I was taking it out, the main place, I could see that it's going to be somewhere like to the left or right, and it's going to be like, why is this here? So, um, but for the most part, I made it a project yesterday to try to get rid of it. I'm hoping I got rid of like 85, 90% of it. I'm hoping. Um, but yeah, if you are putting Lily of the Valley in or like it and it's like five years down the road, you are going to have, I mean, it spreads. If you're looking for something that's going to spread, take up an area and you knock yourself out. But the stuff gets in your grass and just, uh, I just, uh, I don't know. I guess people, there are people that like Lily of the Valley is, I guess if you have a valley, let it go. That's the way I'm going with it. Uh, see what else, uh, that's about it for yard work. Um, I appreciate, uh, anybody that watches the videos. I appreciate the comments that are being made. And, uh, I mean, I don't do shout outs to Derek, I, Jeff, uh, my brother-in-law, Joel, um, Pat, I have to get him to get some, uh, comments in there, but, uh, he, He's going on, I think, the uh, television, I guess. He's watching uh, full screen. <laughs> so he's, um, but I appreciate anybody that makes a comment. Um, so thanks. Trying to have fun with this. Um, so I did horror flicks tonight and still haven't gotten into the mood. I have some that I watched previously from my list that I need to get caught up. Uh, so tonight I just put in uh, Abbott and Costello meets Frankenstein. A nice, fun movie classic. Um, back in the day, um, it's something that nostalgia movie watchers will enjoy. If And if you're somebody that's into current movies and you're just like dabbling it, it's kind of interesting. I mean, The Wolfman, it's pretty decent on the side effects. Um, the vampire changing uh, Bella Lugosi from Dracula to a, vamp uh, a bat uh, kind of has an animated um, thing. Uh, but uh, the Wolfman, they do a good job, and the monster Frankenstein, it's, it's decent. I mean, you think about the time and the um, special effects. Uh, it, it's like, for that time, you almost want to say it's ahead of its time back then. Uh, so you had Lon Chaney as uh, the Wolfman and Bella Lugosi as Dracula, who um, basically back, and it's Lon Chaney Jr., um, but they were involved in the Wolfman and uh, Dracula movies. Uh, so if you're looking for something like a classic, um, something a little different. I, I like the classics. Every, I, I kind of wish I could go into them a little more. I ended up finding it on a channel that didn't give me commercials uh, for streaming-wise. I just came up and I was like, hey, let's watch it. And I was expecting some of those movies, you get this five, six commercial crap. And uh, I uh, was I survived without no commercials, so I'll take it when you can get those kind of times and uh, enjoy. 
And so uh, my horror flicks, um, The Isle uh, from 2018, uh, basically uh, set in 1846. Three uh, sh shipwreck sailors end up on a charted, uncharted island where there's only uh, four inhabitants and one of the sailors has to figure out, kind of goes on what the hell's going on on the island. Um, it's okay movie to watch. Uh, Horror suspense, I guess you want to say. Um, it, independent movie, and uh, it does it does okay. And um, and trying to remember because it has been a while since I've seen this movie, and my list is I, I am going to try to get caught up here. Um, next one is Stakeland. A uh, vampire hunter takes a uh, a young boy, more or less, under his wings and teaches him to trade as they go uh, cross country and kill vampires. Um, it has its moments for horror and uh, story Story does okay. And again, an independent flick, which uh, is all right. And then my last one, thumbs down, uh, Grizzly Revenge. I, I don't know if this is Grizzly Revenge, Grizzly 2. There's all kinds of, but it's from 1983. The original, I think, is from the 70s, 76, 77, which I should have watched. I haven't watched that since I was more or less a kid, and I think I've maybe here and there seen a bit in pieces. But what caught me is when I was streaming and doing search and came across it, it says stars Charlie Sheen and George Clooney. And I feel like I already conned it. this movie. I'm taking a look at my list. I guess not. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> I don't know. So if I have talked about this movie, I apologize. It's a thumbs down. But if you are looking for it to see George Clooney and Charlie Sheen, they're in the movie for the first five minutes. That's it. And then the movie, yeah, you're not missing anything if you stick with it. Uh, so if you want to see a young George Clooney and Charlie Sheen, in five minutes, I guess it could be ten minutes, but that's all. And then they're done. Um... So those are my movie talks, and uh, that's about it. And we're going to wrap it up, and have a good one, everybody. Thanks again for watching.